St. Mary's dates back to just after the colonial period, founded in 1795. We are the mother of all the parishes in the Old Dominion, the first Catholic parish founded in Virginia and West Virginia because that was all one state. When you walk into this church, you automatically feel like praying. You can almost feel the years and the number of souls that have been praying in this space. Uh, and then we see the outreach too, the involvement of the parishioners within the community, which is not something that's new. It's part of a legacy that's been handed on to us, a legacy of leadership that uh, history um, placed upon us. And so it exercises, in a sense, leadership for the diocese and the Catholic community here in Northern Virginia. And certainly one of the important ways in which it does so is through its commitment to charitable activities like Catholic charities and in particular uh, to institutions like Christ House, which are right here in the neighborhood. I drive by Christ House daily. I'm always reminded when I see men and women lining up for dinner at the end of the day or when I see them looking for a hot meal on a very cold day, I'm reminded of just how important Christ House is to our community and really to certainly our parish and our diocese. Our partnership with parishes is absolutely vital. Here at Christ House, where there's so many parishes and Alexander is supportive, St. Mary's in particular has really kind of taken this place under its wing and this place needs that kind of support. St. Mary's isn't just looking in their own boundaries, they take care of that, but they say, we've got to help the community. I'm very grateful to St. Mary's Parish for providing such an assistance to Christ House. All our parishes are instruments and channels of evangelization. And each one does this in different ways. When you unite them all together, you see a very strong wave of evangelization taking part. I'm very proud of all our parishes, and especially this year of St. Mary's in Old Town.